Hello everyone in Panel Lemon Tarts, and a few weeks ago I built a caravan in Bloxburg. You guys seem to really like that video, so today I'll be building a whole trailer park around it. Let's start building! <laughs> Quite a lot of changes while making this video, I did start off outlining where I wanted to put the caravans and at the stage, it didn't even occur to me to include static homes or trailer homes. I was only thinking of adding caravans at first. I had this certain idea in mind where the whole trailer park is just surrounded by desert mountains. I don't see a lot of people doing desert builds and I think that they are really refreshing to see. I gave my mountains a little bit of shape by adding mansard roofs like I do and I also took inspiration from the Grand Canyon and alternated three colors with each of the mountain levels. This just gives it a more of an organic feel. After that, I decided to splurge my money on cars. We do need vehicles to pull the caravans and it just made sense since this is a trailer park. After sectioning everything off, I remembered that I didn't make the caravan under one basic shape. That could only mean one thing. I had to copy it per section. This was a nuisance and thinking about it makes me want to just cry. Um, still, I did my very best to piece it all together. Now, I have to redesign the outside to make it look distinct from the original, but that failed massively, and now it just looks like an ambulance. <laughs> Don't fret though, I did manage to fix it afterwards, um, going for a nice hurricane gray stripe pattern. As you can see, I moved the cars to the front because I said, frick it, I'm not filling this whole plot with caravans. There has to be an easier and cheaper way. Anyways, I copied that second caravan and pasted it three more times at the front section of the plot. And don't worry, I will still be making them look different from each other, so they at least look like they have different owners. <laughs> They're, why am I talking like they're pets? <laughs> but then, just the thought of furnishing each one made me want to dump this project and just nap. I feel so tired already. And that's when Doki suggested that some of them can just furnish one caravan each. That's one great idea if I've ever heard of one. So that's what I did. I let Ichigo, Doki, Bitsy, and Athena claim a caravan and decorate it. I won't be showing you too much of what they've done to their caravans, but I'll be revealing that later in the tour. We are now up to our trailer homes or static homes, whichever you prefer to call them. Now, I know a little bit about these homes because I have stayed in a couple of them during family holidays and they're really cozy. We have six trailer homes for this build um, with enough space for a carport each. Looking at the examples of trailer parks on the internet, their roof and a little bit of their window is protruding at the front. I assume this is because of the tow bar attachment, that way it's more secure if they overlap, I guess. This is actually when I realized that trailer homes are kind of lifted off the ground. Like they have some decking at the bottom or some sort of stilts that are holding them up. So the best way I could apply this to what we have without having to redo everything is by adding a deck in a form of a roof. I used horizontal planks to disguise it as a deck as well. And I think it worked out wonderfully. The trailer homes my family had rented in the past have always been coastal ones, so they have that beach vibe. It's just so relaxing that I tried to apply it to this build too, hence the pale blue colors. But I knew that it should also be a balance um, considering we're in the desert. So I have some red roofs here and there and just neutral tones all over. Here I'm trying to put down stairs going to the deck. I'm using a basic shape and adding the stairs on it in the basement level so only the top part of it will show above ground. We really need to have new stairs we can resize. As you can see, it takes me a while to find where it's supposed to be placed. And after all that, I deleted our progress because I thought that the deck would look better on the other side. These trailer homes will just have one bedroom each, but at least you don't have to go to the communal toilets in the middle of the night just to pee. Even though this is just a one bedroom, I made sure to be able to fit two people per trailer home. This just makes it easier for me during um, neighborhood role plays because it can fit more people. Now I'm just adding a roof over some of the carports. I didn't want to make them all identical. The rule to putting life in your builds is making sure that not everything is robotically the same. I'm so happy we got the transformation tool. It is life changing to be honest. I used the spare cars we bought a while ago and stole the other caravan's cars because in the first place, I think that they aren't supposed to be connected to the vehicle 24 seven. For some reason, I thought that they would be. My plan for this trailer park is that some trailer homes are being rented out for the long term and most of them are for short term rental only. 
The ones with cars right now are the ones that are being rented out for the long term. And you will quickly soon realize that they are decorated a little differently to the ones that usually have no guests staying in them. I cleaned up our build by... Well, making it a little dirty. <laughs> I put mud and dead grass everywhere. The trick to landscaping and making the floor more detailed is a lot of layering. I love doing this with dirt because they are a cheap alternative to detailing your floors and you can color them any color and texture you want. Here, I'm only copying this fence one of my friends put down for me. I don't even know who did it, but it was a great design choice, so thanks for that. I'll be using this fence to section off the trailer homes from the road. I added a playground so kids can hang out there. We do want our trailer park to have amenities of some sorts, and I guess this counts. I also added extra parking space for visitors. I am now up to the reception slash general store of the trailer park and the communal toilets. I gave the reception store slash store building a familiar style to match the trailer homes. So I gave it decking, steps, and a carport for workers. The toilets didn't really need an overly complicated design as well. So I just went for a slanted roof with some cover. The best part about trailer parks are their pools, at least the ones that I've been in. They're all generally clean and cozy. Is that the right word for it? They aren't at all glamorous like five-star hotels. Far from it. But they're just so fun to swim in with friends or cousins. I mean, at least that's my experience. Um, anyways, I made this pool's water a little murky because it doesn't have a proper filtration system like in-ground pools do. I also stole towels from Doki's caravan area and hang that on the pool fence. I did the same to Bitty's flip-flops and put those all around the pool so it looks like a group of friends just jumped in. I started furnishing the short-term rental houses first. I didn't want them to look boring, but also made sure that they weren't overly decorated. They are maintained to be clean for new guests at all times. Basic house features like a kitchen, dining table, TV, and all those are included in the trailer homes, perfect for two people to stay in. The window we have chosen is the one that has a sofa built into it, so that works well in terms of saving space. Also, special thanks to Vidi who helped me copy-paste these furnitures in the other short-term rental homes. I mentioned before that two of the trailer homes are being rented for long-term stay. One of those trailer homes is this one, being rented out by an elderly couple enjoying their retirement in this quiet trailer park in the desert. Compared to the other trailer home we furnished, this one has a bit more clutter, but not that much because the wife is a bit of a neat freak while the husband is really clumsy and unintentionally makes a mess like this coffee spill right here. Not gonna lie, this trailer home makes me want to retire right now, this very second, and just live there. Moving on to the next rented house. Here lives a hoarder. They served some time for a few years and lost their actual house, so they had no choice but to relocate to a cheaper alternative, which is this trailer. They brought along with them their belongings, files, and other important stuff. This house is nowhere near as well maintained as the other one. Some of the furniture the home came with are now broken with no means of replacing it. Doing the toilets and shower rooms, there was no need for them to be super detailed. They are communal to toilets anyways, so all they really need are the basics, a shower, toilet, trash can, sink, sitting area, and yeah. For the reception slash store, I intended to make them separately, but I didn't really have the space or motivation to make another building for it. So the reception desk and the store's cash register is on one counter, and behind the counter is also the trailer park office. The store sells basic stuff like milk, you know? I was also going for a 7-Eleven vibe, so I added an area where you can get your own coffee or slushy. We have a small storage room at the back as well, and that leads to a back exit. We finally finished! Welcome to my desert trailer park. I can't wait to show you around. This is the front of the build. There's big signs so that way the people in the highway can see it when they're passing by. Anyways, let's go inside. I'm just gonna show you around this road area here. So you know what to do when you come here, when you come visit, okay? You know the way. Um, over here is the garbage disposal slash waste disposal where you put the waste of the caravan in there. Doki made this. Thank you, Doki, because I didn't really know too much about it. <laughs> anyway, so this is the pool area. It's so cute. Honestly, I think it's my, it might be my favorite place in the whole build. So we're gonna go to Chi Chi's house. Ichigo's house. It's so cute. I mean, look how aesthetic it is, bro. And 
so Doki and her started putting their pets in their builds. That's taking personalization to another level. This is Bitty's caravan. She's going for a nature, nice, organic vibe. And I don't know why there was a snowman there, but it's a vibe, okay? And this is mine. And you can see Margo over there. My dog, my IRL dog, okay? I put that there because I didn't wanna I didn't wanna be left out. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna put my dog as well. This is Doki's caravan okay it is giving me rich vibes because of how big the bed is and she put that partition over there near the barbecue area and that's apparently a windbreaker we don't have those in australia at least i don't think so because well we enjoy the wind here because it's really hot anyways cultural differences this is athena's caravan and it's very cozy i don't think it's done yet though but anyways, we'll go here to the entrance once again. I have a car parking over there and we'll go to our first caravan. It's not a caravan. It's a static home slash, um, what do you call it? Trailer home. This is what it looks like. Very basic, but it's supposed to be basic. You know, it's supposed to look like a hotel, not a hotel, but like an accommodation place where everything is just clean at all times you know if guests come and go you know whatever what am i saying anyways this is the second one it should look exactly the same exactly the same but thanks for biddy again for helping me out with um copying and pasting these you you can probably notice that there's some certain like differences like for example that one had like soap and stuff like that she put that there and i really like it because it makes it a little bit different from the others you know and this is the playground where kids come and play and yeah they can hang out here make new friends and everything so we'll go back to the main road and we'll go to the road next to it this house over here look at this look at this look at all the trash outside and look how kind of rundown broken it is it is a not a squatter's home. <laughs> i was like okay it's not a squatter's home it's a hoarder's home look how messy guys look how messy gross oh my goodness this person is going through a really tough time okay i didn't show you the bedroom but this is what it looks like like, yeah, it's very messy. <laughs> kind of looks like my room, actually. <laughs> Wait, no, my room is not messy. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Um, this I like the clothesline thing. I got that from Athena. I just copied the thing that she had, and this is just another normal one, another short-term rental. I really like it. Um, this concept of um trailer homes because I feel like I've stayed. Well, no, it's not a fact that I've stayed in more trailer homes um, than hotels, but I've spent quite a lot of time in them and they're so fun to just hang out in. Um, this is the elderly couple's um, house, caravan house, not caravan house. Why do I keep saying static home? Okay. And it has a dripping roof or ceiling. Bitty added that. How clever is that, guys? It's so cool. This is so, this is such a build that would have that. I really love it. It's a lot cleaner. I like their car, whatever. And to our last static home slash trailer home, um, it's just another short term rental. Yeah. And as you can see, the towel's color is a little bit different. And it's very, very cozy still. Like, I wanna live here. Like, I think this might be my new favorite build. I don't know yet. It keeps shifting. But, anyways. <laughs> This is the shower slash toilets. Yeah, like I said, I didn't really need to put details into it. I mean, it's just toilets, you know? At least you have like a place to put your stuff in, like the hooks and everything. But other than that, I think it really just serves its purpose. The next part is the reception. I really like the reception because it's a vibe. <laughs> This is the front of it. As you can see, there's a desktop for checking in and a um, cash register for paying. Yeah, and there's a toilet over here. I didn't really show it a while ago because, I mean, there's barely anything there. So I was like, yeah, no. Nah. The design of these shelves are actually from my um, convenience store that you guys love so much. And this is the storage room. I mean, yeah, that's basically it. That's basically it. There's a back exit for the staff or whatever. And yeah, I think that's it for this build. I really hope you liked it. Thank you again to Bitty, Athena, Doki, and Ichigo for helping me out. And that's all for today. I'll see you in the next video.